So we're going to look at hip flexion first. So I'm going to have you just get a little bit closer to me. Good. So I'm going to support the weight of the limb. I don't want him to help me, right, because it's passive. So what I'm going to do is just kind of encompass the heel of his foot in my hand here, and I'm going to support the thigh, keeping the leg supported against my torso, and I'm going to use my body to bring him forward. So I'm not bending at the trunk. My back is nice and straight. Yeah, you put your hand by your side, please. How are you doing? Good. Okay. All right. So I'm bringing him full range. What's full range hip flexion? 120. Good. What do you guys think? Did he get it? Looks like it. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay, now while he's in the supine position, I can also assess hip abduction. What's normal range for hip abduction? Good. So I want to make sure that his toes are up toward the ceiling, right? That he's not externally rotating here from the tibia. I'm going to stabilize on the contralateral ASIS. I'm going to pull him out to the side. You doing okay? Okay. And he could probably get a little bit more if it weren't for the grease sport. All right. Good. And then I'm going to bring him back. Very good range of motion. So from this position, in the supine position, I can also look at lateral and medial rotation or external internal rotation of the hip. So you want to make sure that the hip and knee are at 90 degrees and you're holding them in this position so you're not bringing them way into hip flexion. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just rotate from the foot and ankle as I bring him in. Wow. Oh, Very wow. good. Wow. <laughs> and when I bring the foot in, which way is the hip moving? Very good. What is normal range of motion? 45, 45 degrees. Good. Okay, and then I'm going to bring him out this way. <laughs> Not so impressive. <laughs> rotation, they're going to be tighter on the internal rotation, and that makes sense, right? Okay, so he's much tighter here. All right, so next I'm going to look at adduction. So I'm going to try to assess everything I can while the patient is in one position, because if they're in pain, I don't want them flip-flopping back and forth, right? So what I'm going to do is just have you drop this leg, just bend it and drop it over the side there. I'm going to support the weight of his leg just kind of at the knee and then at the heel of his foot again and I'm going to pull across. So I'm keeping an eye on this side of the pelvis, okay? If I start to see him lifting up and rotating from the hip and the pelvis, I know he's compensating, right? So I'm going to keep watching that as I pull him across and that's about it before that ASI starts to rotate. What's normal adduction range? 30. 45. 30. 30. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have you flip over on your stomach for me now. So he changed position, so now the leg is on the other side, right? Don't forget that, Jamie. All right, so when we look at hip extension, I'm going to have you scoop over closer to the table there. Good. So what I'm going to do, hip extension, is bend your knee. I'm going to just kind of grab it right here under, just on top of the, the distal quad there. I'm going to support here at the pelvis, and I'm going to lift up. Okay, are you all right there? Good. And back down. Now, if I don't support, what happens? He gets a lot of lumbar rotation, right? So you want to make sure that you're in a good stride like stance and you're really stabilizing here as you lift. Now what are some things that might limit his hip extension? Hip flexors. Hip flexor what? Tightness. Tightness. Good. Very good. Now another way that we can assess the medial and lateral rotation of the hips is in this prone position. So I'm going to have you bend your knees. Good. And so what I'm going to do now is just drop both of the legs out at the same time. And I'm looking to see if it's symmetrical. And he looks pretty symmetrical, right? So what I might see is if someone has a pathology, one leg might come out here and the other might be stuck here. So it's just a quick and easy way to do a good assessment to make sure he's symmetrical on both sides. 
Do you keep a hold of them or you let gravity take over? And well, passively, I'm going to hold them this way. Yep, and then I'm going to bring him in this way. Spread your legs a little bit more. There you go. Thank you. And then I'm going to look at him this way, and he looks pretty symmetrical, right? The good thing about prone doing this test is that the pelvis is pretty well stabilized anteriorly on the table, so you don't have to worry about the rotation quite as much. Okay? All right, let's go through those and practice each other.